Hey, 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 everybody. It's Marvin with SEO for Beginners. Guess what? It's episode 10. This is the last episode in this series. And we're going to discuss staying a student today. So throughout the halls of Google, in the deep, mysterious basements of where they discuss all that top secret SEO algorithm stuff, there really does lie a common notion followed by all Googlers. And that is that the only constant thing about SEO is that it's not constant. That's a pretty profound and important detail that you need to remember. So basically what Google is saying is that their search engine algorithm is always evolving. It's always changing. It's not constant. That being said, it's impossible to know everything there is to know about SEO. In fact, it's pretty much understood by many SEO professionals that Google makes hundreds of changes, some small, some big, to their algorithm each year. So when some misinformed chap comes up to you and says, SEO is dying, you need to simply tell them no. SEO is evolving. So the constant evolution of SEO means that you really have to stay a student. If you're not reading the latest SEO blogs, if you're not following the algorithm updates that come out all the time, and if you're not reading other SEO expert case studies, then you're not doing your job as an SEO expert. You have to stay a student. You're going to need to study. So put time aside every single week to read the latest SEO blogs, you know, even for just a couple hours. But don't let this worry you. You're not going to be studying all the time and reading all the time. It's not rocket science. You're not learning how to split atoms, right? It's just that Google and other search engines do not publish the secrets to their algorithm. You know, this is out of fear of the spammers, right? It's out of fear of, of, of spammers manipulating the system and ruining the user experience. So they help us. Google will help us. Bing will help us understand and how to perform SEO better. They're not going to just publish it for us, though. So the last thing you need to learn from the SEO for Beginners guide is that you always got to stay a student. I've listed some SEO blogs and some other resources on SEOforbeginners.com. Share them, click on them, follow them, whatever you need to do. And that's it. So I'm going to leave you with this. Stay a student and you'll be fine. Good luck. This is Marvin and this has been SEO for Beginners.